Crafters. Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you can join me for another Inspiration Friday. So if you're watching this tutorial, as soon as I send it out, it is Christmas Eve morning. And I don't know about you guys, but it's been a little crazy around my house. And you know how it is, you tell everybody to stop by, come on over, and every once in a while, you end up a gift short. So I have got a great idea for a last minute gift for you guys today. So stay tuned. I'm going to meet you over at my table and we're going to put together a quick and easy gift. But before we get there, you guys, I just want to thank you. We have had an unbelievable year. Hit 10,000 subscribers this year. I've had so many great views and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And hey, if by chance this is your first time stopping by my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. And hey, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle change and I'm gonna meet you over at my craft table. with this project. So what I did is I grabbed some jars um, at Taller Dog Dollar Spot and um, they came um, two to this package and then I got three to this package. And they're really nice because they're different sizes. Now, by all means, use whatever jars you guys have on hand. Remember, this is supposed to be one of those last minute gifts um, that it will be very much appreciated. So we're gonna need some jars. We're gonna need some Epsom salts, and I just picked up a bag of this. Now, I will tell you, I did get the fragrance free because we're gonna be using some essential oils to scent it, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some sea salt, and I just picked this up at um, Safeway today. And then, believe it or not, we're gonna be using some baking soda in this one. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some essential oils. Now, I happen to have lavender on hand. Lavender is my absolute flavor, so I thought I would go with that. So, I wanna show you how quick and easy, and I will make sure that I have the recipe there for you guys to um, reference. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our Epsom salts. And so I'm just gonna open up my package of Epsom salt and my recipe calls for three cups, okay? So I'm just gonna put three cups. Now this should fill all of my jars with a little extra. And so I'm using a, a half a cup measure there, you guys. So there's one cup. There's two cups. And here we go with our third cup. Okay, so I got the Epsom salts out of the way, okay? Now what we need is two cups of sea salt, okay? So I'm just gonna take the lid off of this. I'm quite sure you could buy sea salt in bulk. Um, I just um, actually had a little bit of a hard time finding sea salt, believe it or not. Um, finally found it at Safeway though. And so for the sea salt, we're gonna do two cups. So there's a half a cup. So it's basically my whole thing that I just bought. So just to give you guys an idea, this is um, 1.6 ounces, one pound, 1.6 ounces. So it's just about two cups, okay? So now what I wanna do is I just wanna make sure that I get this nice and mixed up, okay? So I'm just mixing it up. While I'm mixing it up, you guys, the other thing that I did is I used my Cricut to make some really cute labels that we're gonna add to this. Um, so it's just another way you can spruce up the outside of the jar. Um, and I'll go ahead and leave you a link to the labels that I put together, okay? So there we have, easy as that. We've got our Epsom salts in there and we've got our sea salts in there, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to do our um, essential oils. Now, the recipe calls for two tablespoons, okay? 
And so I'm going to cheat by using the lid here. So two tablespoons. I don't happen to have a tablespoon measure out here in my craft room. So we're going to go with that. Now, before we mix in anything else, we want to really make sure that that gets mixed up. That oil starts to clump some of this together. And we really want to make sure that we get all those little clumps broken down. We also want to spread out that essential oil. And oh, you guys, I can smell it already. Lisa loves her lavender, that is for sure. Oh, something got in there and get rid of that. Um, so this would just be so fun, last minute gift, you guys. Or the other thing I got to thinking about is having these done up. Um, what cute little hostess gifts you could do for all times of the year, okay? Now, the secret ingredient, you guys, and I'll tell you, I thought this was so interesting on this recipe to be putting baking soda into it, but it calls for one cup of baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Okay, finished off that. Have to add that to my list of, of things that we need at the house. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix it up really well. I'm gonna transfer it into my jars. I'm gonna put my labels on, add a little bit of ribbon, and you guys, we have got a last minute Christmas gift, a hostess gift, a birthday gift, a I just wanna give you something nice gift, or you wanna make something for yourself gift. Easy as that, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and got that all nice and stirred up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my jars right in there and fill up my jars. Now my jars are all clean, you guys. That's another thing you wanna make sure you've got clean jars, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill them all up. And then I'll go grab my labels and I'll show you the cute labels that I made. And go ahead and do one of my bigger jars here just so we can see. First time I've made this recipe with different size jars, so I'm really kind of interesting, interested to see how this does. You could also use a funnel, you guys, um, for these to get it in there really nice. But, oh, I just, I love having these little, um, you know, last minute gifts, um, something you can throw together, um, you know, ready to go in your, in all your crafting that you can do. Now this, you guys, is where my funnel would come in handy. But Lisa did not bring a funnel out to her craft room either. Maybe that's another tool I need to have in the craft room, is a funnel. But you guys, I am going to have these guys all filled up. I'm gonna be able to go and top off my other ones, um, and I am just so excited about getting, nope, I think I'm gonna fill this up exactly. Look at that, perfect, you guys. So I got two larger jars of it, and then I've got these three small jars. Now, one thing, um, the labels I definitely have, and I just have those labeled um, lavender sea salt. But the other thing I would encourage you guys to do is to add a tag with the ingredients. You know, one thing you wanna make sure is whoever you're giving this to, you want them to be able to enjoy it. But so many people have skin issues, right? And so we just wanna make sure that we're not um, causing anybody any irritation. We want to give them comfort with this nice gift. So let me go grab my labels. I'm gonna clean up this um, um, seat, the um, bath salts that I've got here in front of us and we're gonna finish up this. Okay, so we've got our jars all filled. And what I did is I went over and I grabbed some scraps for my scrap paper. And I have got this cute little tag maker that I picked up and I love it. Um, and it is makes one and a half, two and a half, and two inch cute little tags. So all I do is I've got two inch strips cut here 
And so it just makes that perfect little tag. So I like to do them on each end and then just cut them right up the middle, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do these other ones, get those out of the way. And so I have got five jars here to put together and I'm gonna do two of them with green tags since the there's a green tint to it. And then I am gonna do pink on the other side, on the other jars. So I'm just gonna cut those in half and I've already done this to one of them. What I've done is I've just written what the ingredients are, okay? So let's go ahead and grab one of our green ones, okay? I've got my lid on tight, okay? And I'm gonna grab one of my labels that I just made using my Cricut. And I will share with you guys the um, sticker paper that I absolutely love. But I just used the print then cut feature. And so this says lavender bath salts on it. So you guys can see that. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of twine and I'm gonna wrap it around my jar just to dress it up a little bit. And you can do all kinds of cute things with this, you guys. And then I'm just gonna put my tag on there. And on the front of the tag, you could write who this is to. And on the back of the tag, we're all covered with what our ingredients are. So everyone knows what is in this cute little bath salts. And look at that, you guys. I'm just going to trim those up and look how cute did that turn out. Got my tag, I'm gonna write my two. They all know it's bath salts and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna share all the links down below for you on how I made this quick, quick and easy project. I'll get these all done and I'll make sure I show you what each one of them looks like. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. And here's all my bath salts all wrapped up and ready to be given. I just love how these turned out. One with the cute pink on it and one with the green. I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday showing you how you can make some really nice last minute gifts. If you're looking for other DIY type projects, make sure you check out my blog at Fun Stuff Crafts.